Lumion has always been known for an easy workflow, but the new materials user interface kicks it up a notch. You're gonna love it. Let's have a look. Lumion includes a large number of high quality materials with adjustable properties like glossiness, relief, and reflectivity, which you can apply to the surfaces of your objects with just a few clicks. The default settings are often good enough to create a perfectly presentable image. If you want to take it one step further and fine tune how the material looks, then click on Edit Material. For example, this pebble path in the glass house example scene. Lumion makes it easy to adjust your materials using the property sliders. Play around with them to get the appearance you need for your design. The user interface now allows you even more control by loading specialized maps, each of them fine-tuning one of the many aspects of a material. You can create them yourself or use material map creation software for an even more customized result. Click on the small image on the left of the slider to bring up the material map and then click on Import New Texture to load a custom map. Often created from a photograph, the color map gives you the most important visual aspect of your material. Using the slider next to it, it can be brightened, darkened, or generally speaking, colorized. All you need to do to change its appearance is use the Choose Color button on the right side and adjust the slider. For this tutorial though, we won't modify the colorization. Check out the Relief Slider, a visual effect which needs a normal map. Lumion can create a normal map from either the color map or the displacement map. To see that in action, let's delete the current normal map and use the magic wand button to create a new one. If you already have a normal map for your material, you can load it in the same way as the other maps. Simply click the import button. It's very useful when you want to add small details to your surfaces. What the colors of this map indicate are the angles at which different surfaces of the material blend. In our case, how the edges of the stones blend with the cement between the stones. The relief slider can then be used to control the influence of the normal map on the material. In this case, a low number like 0.2 is probably best. Next up is the reflectivity slider. The map can be loaded further down. This one is used to indicate which areas of the material are reflective, like the coated area, and which are not, like the sand or cement in between the tiles. The whiter the area on the map, the higher the reflection is for that particular area of the material. The reason why this map is shown further down is that it can also be used for other purposes. For example, to make certain areas of the map transparent when you use the setting Texture Clips Object. The next one is the gloss map. It influences the sharpness of the reflections in the brighter areas of the map. The gloss map of this material is pretty dark without much contrast. This means that almost no areas of the materials have sharp reflections. So to see any results in how it influences the material, we need to set the slider pretty high. The last one is the displacement map, sometimes referred to as a height map. White is high, black is low. In this case, a pretty low value gives the best results. If you think the stones are too small, use the map scale to make them larger. A bit of weathering can make the material look more aged, and a detailed touch like this can often add a feeling of realism in the render. This area is the same as in the previous version of Lumion. Now, let's make some renders to see the effect of these material maps and settings. The preview looks a bit too shiny in the distance. Using Build With Effects, we can tone down the amount of gloss and reflectivity. Playing with the relief and displacement and setting the precipitation phase a bit lower shows that these material properties really have an effect on the puddles of water. The renders made with different settings confirm this. The three dots on the top right bring up some options to copy, paste, save, and load the material. Saving to disk allows you to share your material with your colleagues. 
Saving it to your custom materials makes it easier to find again later, so you can use the same materials again in your future Lumion projects. It's worth remembering that instead of changing an existing material, we always have the option to create a completely new one from scratch. So the bottom line, the new materials user interface is easier to use and more powerful. You've been briefed. Now put it to use on your project. I'll see you next time.